Hiya. <laughs> Hi. I've just done my makeup. I have to leave the house now. I literally have to leave the house now. Um, it's a new day. I'm going to take my camera with me just in case I can record. It is my sister's birthday today. And I am dressed like... It's, there's a theme like dress as your favorite gif or meme or whatever. And because we were only told like, ugh, what was it? Maybe two days ago, I really didn't have time to figure this one out. But um, I opted to go with the minions because I love the minions. So I'm like a trompies kind of, I'm wearing my king telel. You guys who king telel? I'm wearing that and then I've put a South African spin to it by wearing a hat. It's not, it's all I could do at short notice. Obviously, I'm going to tie this bit up when I get to the house. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take my camera along. It's my sister's birthday. Finally, I can show you guys uh, what I got for her birthday. Apart from also contribute for... Um, What's this? The festivities today. I got her this for her birthday. These glasses are like 60 bucks somewhere. I bought them for like 60 bucks. I, whatever, bro. Um, so I got her this. It's a Jo Malone perfume and it's engraved with her name on it. And that's it. And then I contributed a little bit to today. Um, she wanted a case of champagne because my sister is my sister. So we made that happen as well. Um, so it's just going to be a bunch of us and our friends and some of our closest people um, to us, our partners, our friends, their partners. So it's very small. It's very intimate. It is themed, you know, come as your favorite meme or gif. And if you follow me on Twitter a lot and if you're on my WhatsApp, you know that I use the minions a lot because I love the minions, whether as a gif or whatever. I just I just do. And um, because it was just such short notice, so last minute, I was just like, you know what, this is what I'm going to wear. I'm going to run with it. Um, so, yeah, this is vlog so late, but I was running late. I went to go get a touch up on my nails. Nothing hectic. It was just a touch up. And now we're out. I smell like perfume. Oh, my God. Let's go. I'll do my lips at home. Let's go. Bye.
My darling, you're a joke. <laughs> Maybe just make breakfast because the people of this house are hungry. Let's do that, okay? Maybe let's stop singing and let's make breakfast. Breakfast sounds like a good idea. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Looking kind of crusty. Just woke up. My friend, Miss Diesel, is upstairs. And 
you literally just woke up so we are, i'm making a breakfast i haven't made breakfast in this house breakfast in a while a proper breakfast so that's what we doing today What meat? Hmm? No, but... He deliberately doesn't talk when he knows the camera is rolling. That's how he works. Okay? So, I'm talking to myself. I'm not. <laughs> Gonna keep that in there. Watching anime today? Love it for us. Nah, love it for you. But in life, you must support the people you love. So, I guess in some way or other, love it for us. Okay. This is what happens to this room when I'm shooting on shoot days. And this was a day ago. 
So I'm going to tidy that up. But before we do that, before we do that, hi chaps. Uh, let me set you down somewhere. Let's have a chat. Uh, because this vlog, it's kind of like a week late, but I'll explain why. Uh, show you a couple of things as well. Um, and then, yeah, we can have a chat and then I can pretty much wrap it up. This is probably going to be the last scene of this vlog. So, the shoes and clothes everywhere, okay? So let's do that. Let me angle you somewhere. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Okay, let's see. Okay, chaps. Hi. So, it's been a long week. There's one more thing I need. I'll be back. Of everything that's been happening. Um, so, there's footage of Naledi's birthday. Um, this vlog, this particular vlog, I'm filming actually a week later than I typically would. Um, even though there is content that I took from my phone throughout the week and the, the yeah, throughout this week. But essentially today's Sunday and normally I release my vlogs on a Saturday or a Sunday, but this one's going to be a couple of days late. Reason being, it's been a little bit crazy. It's been a little bit nuts. Um, Naledi's birthday weekend was tricky for me because Friday was great and we had a good time. And then on Saturday, um, my partner was hospitalized. So I couldn't vlog because I was with him the whole time. So I was running around and all of that kind of stuff and I was I was worried and upset and crying all the time and all of that so I didn't really vlog that weekend but as you can tell he is here so he's fine he's alive he's kicking he's happy he's okay um, so that's good uh, but uh, so that weekend was a little bit tricky and it kind of put me in a very 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 low down sad space um because i was worried about you know uh, someone i care about very deeply so i was a little but shoot my mood kind of sank that sunday um he was fine came out the hospital fine shop whatever um and then uh during the week was a kind of mentally up and down kind of week. And I also blame the fact that um, over those couple of days, I kept on forgetting to take my pills, you know, and I kept on forgetting and forgetting. And um, so I couldn't really, my emotions were pretty much all over the place, but more down than happy. But then towards the latter part of the week, I think on Wednesday or Thursday, I got really good news, which I don't think I can share as yet. But if you do follow my, my Instagram page, you'll see it eventually. It's a campaign. It's a huge one. And I got great, great news. It's probably, yeah, it is. It's top up there of the biggest campaigns I've ever had as a creator. Um, and that made me so happy that made me so happy and then um the following day i found myself you know missing my sister quite a lot and i was sad about it so i was kind of like really sad apart from other things that you know um happened but i was really kind of just down in the dumps about the fact that i missed my sister and i didn't see her all week and um you know because we always try to do lunch at least once a week and and or just see each other do something dinner lunch or whatever so i was kind of bummed about that but i was with her yesterday so that was that was great i was with her yesterday she actually slept over here yeah a friday night so today's sunday friday night she slept over here uh, so that was fun and i feel quite recharged <laughs> the fact that i saw my sister and i feel a little bit happier um that i saw my favorite people 
this weekend. I'm with one of my favorite people as well. So that's great. Um, on the book front, update, I finished, I started and finished the Atlas 6, which you wouldn't have seen because I didn't vlog that weekend. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you will see because I put up a, um, a review of the book. Great book. Um, entertaining. I have thoughts about the Atlas 6. Um, but you'd have to go into my Instagram to see that. Do follow me on Instagram because there's a lot of content that goes on Instagram in terms of reels and other things that I shoot here um, that I don't put in my vlogs. So definitely follow me on, on the Grams and the Breezy. And the book I am currently reading now is Daughter of the Moon Goddess. And this is by Sulin Tan really enjoying this so far i'm not sure if this is a ya or if it's an adult novel but i think it's an adult so in this book we follow shinjin xing ying xing yin i think um i don't know how to say i don't know how to say the only chinese or what name that i know how to say is shang shi okay and I and, and and I know why I know how to say it, okay? Because Shang Shi and I are gonna meet in another life, okay? And I like that guy, okay, a lot, <laughs> very much. <laughs> anyway, so we follow uh, Xing Yin here, and um, we follow her story, and she's born into this world where her f she's kind of hidden from the world uh, because of her mother. She's hidden from the celestial. Emperor. The emperor doesn't know that Xing Yin exists. And um, this is because when her father was still alive, the mother took an immortal elixir to keep her immortal, right? And um, the celestial king found this out. And um, it's kind of hard to explain because like there's just a lot going on in this book but all i can tell you is that she leaves she gets forced to leave her home because the celestial emperor uh comes to the family home to her mother's home and says we've sensed with the moon that this and this has happened and we feel like there might be something that you may be hiding from us and the mother was like no 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 ma'am no ma'am no celestial celestial emperor no, no ma'am. Um, so after that, she had to force Ching Yin to flee because she's got some powers that she's currently discovering. So she flees, but she lands up in the in the the kingdom, the emperor's kingdom, and there's a little bit of a romance that sparks between her and the prince. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've read so far. She tapped into some of her powers. She's really, really good at certain things like archery and all of that. And she's discovering her powers little by little. Um, so there's a little bit of a romance story here as well. But it's, it's quite, it's really hard. I, I don't struggle like this to explain novels, but I'm really struggling with this one. That was a terrible, terrible review of it. But all I can tell you is that it's good. It's good. Good. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I'll probably read a little bit later, um, or I'll probably edit. I don't know. And then the other Ndenge say, what else should I need to talk to you all about? I don't think there's much. Apart from on Friday, I wasn't having the greatest day. Um, so I decided to treat myself, and I think you'll have seen that footage. And I just decided to have a me day. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I went to Hyde Park um, Corner Mall. It's pretty much, I think, in, in Joburg, it's my favorite mall. I really love it. I love it. Hi, Busy. Hi, Kali. It's got great restaurants. It's got the best, the best bookshop in the world. Okay? The Hyde Park exclusive books is everything to me. And my partner knows this, and he doesn't like it. Yeah, that's why he hardly takes me to Hyde Park, because he knows I'm going to want to get into that um, uh, thingy and that bookshop and live my best life. So I did. 
I was alone this time around and I did and I love that olives and plates is inside that exclusive box because typically then I would if I'm alone I would sit there and have a meal which is what I did so I got two books because I have a book buying problem but I don't care okay because it's my money and I work hard for the money I have and I treat myself through buying books these two books are books that I've wanted for such a long time but never found at any of the bookshops that I went to so because I was in exclusive books for probably well over an hour um, I found this book which is What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher and it's a horror novel I'm not going to get into because clearly I can't give synopsis for anything right now I'm so terrible at giving synopsis but the one that I'm most excited about is this one this is Kindred by Octavia E. Butler and I've heard that cover is awesome that cover is so nice and I've heard great things about this book as well so can't wait I'm probably going to pick up either one of these when I'm done with this one um, so I treated myself to two books had a nice lunch uh, earlier on in the week I, I you know, you know when somebody doesn't have a woe, that was me. So when I feel down, I like to treat myself to retail therapy. Even if it may be books or clothes or whatever. So I did that. <laughs> I don't think I disclosed this here information with the person downstairs. Because he's probably just going to look at me and go, wow, wow. I, I'm not surprised. You do this all the time. So... I was feeling kind of crappy on one day and so I went into Fashini because I love Fashini and Fashini loves me and I saw these teas and it's like what a hundred bucks or something for one and I loved them okay this one is written in New York and it's white and it's beautiful okay I said what I said and then this one is written in Brooklyn and it's black and I did a shoot uh, in this one because the Brooklyn is in like a a purpley pink uh, 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 color and I think it would look so super great with uh, the sneakers Mr. Diesel got me recently so yeah I got that and I'm gonna put a picture of these two dresses here I'm gonna put these two dresses here I've got it in, in green and black and I finally found it in white and I and I and I went to go pick it up Okay, I'm that person, if I love something that much, I'll have it in all the colors that I want it in. Okay, and ain't nobody gonna tell me nothing. Now, um, I saw a pink one. I might get that one. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, maybe I might ask that Jenny downstairs to buy me the pink one. But anyway, got it in white. And I got this in white because something went ding ding and I don't know what it is. Okay. But uh, I got this one in white because I may be, it's not confirmed yet, but I may be going to an all white um, party thing in December, but it's not confirmed yet. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, aside from that, chaps, I am goodest. I'm good. Uh, family's good. Everybody's good. Uh, this is pretty much where I'm going to wrap up the vlog. If you enjoyed it, thank you very much. Give it a like subscribe to the channel um and i'll see you in the next vlog really really thank you guys for being here and i always say uh thank you for choosing me over and over again and i mean that um i'm gonna tidy this up tidy up these clothes honey okay because it's a mess in here and um yeah i'll wrap up the vlog that way so um, I was supposed to have my coffee, but now it's gone cold. So, so banana again, it's so banana again.